we're going to talk about the major benefits of something called autophagy and exactly what autophagy really is, okay? So in the cell, you have something called the lysosome. And lysosome is like the garbage disposal. It's like the recycler, which takes all the damaged parts and breaks it down, has all these enzymes, and then it spits it out as free fatty acids and amino acids, which are the building blocks to make body tissue. At this point, they're pushed out to different parts of the body in which you have cellular remodeling. So just imagine in your house, you have a garbage disposal, you put your garbage in there, and let's say it comes out as great wood, nails, raw material to then build your new kitchen, your new bathroom, and other rooms in your house. Well, that's exactly what autophagy is, which it takes garbage and makes it into new good uh, raw material so you can then build new cells. So it's very anti-aging. It's very good to protect the brain cells, to regrow new brain cells and nerve cells. It's great for the heart to regrow new um, heart cells. So it's very protective against the immune system as well. So what it'll do, it'll take defective damaged parts, push it into the garbage disposal, and intracellular pathogens like microbes and fungus and yeast and uh, viruses and all sorts of things, and it's going to recycle that in this powerful lysosome. And then we have something called misfolded proteins. Now what does that mean? Well, in your body you have all these structural parts. You have um, different parts of the cell, and they're all different types of combinations of proteins. They basically have different shapes. So when these proteins are not shaped correctly, that would be called a misfolded protein, okay? And those build up, they accumulate, and they develop into this bigger piece of protein called amyloids, okay? Amyloid deposits um, are what you see in the brain of an Alzheimer's patient, Parkinson's, uh, a lot of times you see it in diabetics with the arteries, cataracts. There's a whole bunch of diseases called amyloid diseases in which this kind of placking or protein placking plugs up the body, okay? And those are basically just the accumulation of misfolded proteins. And these proteins can be very, very toxic, okay? So your cells can take these, recycle them into new raw material that can then be uh, used for rebuilding. So the question is what would cause an accumulation of these misfolded proteins, which would be damage to the mitochondria coming from high levels of oxidative stress, usually from high insulin, okay? And I've done videos on this before. We talk about the connection between insulin resistance, which is high insulin or high insulin, and Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Well, this is why, because of these proteins that get uh, shaped incorrectly and they plug up the whole system. So you can see there's some major benefits for autophagy. You have neural protection for your brain and nervous system, regrowing of brain cells, cardioprotective for the heart, you have immune protection, it's anti-aging, and the list goes on and on and on. And of course, the biggest thing that will trigger, the most potent thing that triggers autophagy is fasting and intermittent fasting, okay? Another reason why you need to start doing intermittent fasting, it's the most powerful thing because it corrects insulin resistance, it keeps insulin down, and it'll start to trigger this survival mechanism. It's counterintuitive. You would think if you're not eating, or you're fasting, you're just gonna starve and deplete your body, but it goes in reverse. It goes into this protect mode and enhances your survival. Very counterintuitive. Taking all this damaged stuff, putting it through the recycler, coming out with fresh new material that can be used for uh, regrowing uh, tissue. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, if you haven't already subscribed, press the button below and I will keep you in the know. Hey, that rhymes.